plaintiff, Rhonda Diaz, says the defendant's son was a guest at her son's 11th birthday party. Rhonda claims during the party, some horseplay got out of hand and the defendant's son twisted her son's arm until it broke. Rhonda's suing the defendant for her son's medical bills. Defendant Teresa Ramey says this incident happened the day after the birthday party. And Teresa insists it never would have happened if Rhonda had been supervising the children. Teresa claims after the incident, Rhonda filed a police report against her son for battery. So she's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Um, well, Judge, um, it's, it's a shame we're here today. Nice to meet you, though. Um, I was trying to have a memorable birthday party for my son for his 11th birthday. Um, it will be memorable, but not for the best reason ever. Hayden ended up in the ER with a broken arm. That's from... your son there with you today? Yes, my son Hayden. All right, how you doing? Um, with a broken right humerus. Um, the defendant's son came over and I guess some horseplay got out of control. A wrestling match ensued, I guess. He twisted his right arm um, until it broke. Um, we're not mad at Nick. I'm not mad at Teresa. It would have been nice that when we did talk on the phone, if we could have got uh, an apology or some sort of care or concern rather than calling my son a sissy. Um, this isn't about my son's strength. Um, this is about... What was the first conversation with the defendant? Um, I sent a letter. All right, you didn't know the woman, so you thought it might be best to write. To write All a right, letter, correct. Ahead. So what um, response But did I did get? put my number on there so she could call me, and mm -hmm. that is when we spoke. Tell me the conversation. Um, have you seen my son? Have you seen how small he is? And... Um, that, I don't Did care how small Did she deny it? No, she didn't deny it. Um, she just didn't seem like she You said like my she son cared. was hurt by your son. Right, and All she right. said, well, that's a shame that it happened. And I said, and, and Nick didn't even stick around. He ran off before I even got out there. And she said, he was probably running off because everybody's heard that your son's a sissy. That was the end of the conversation? When you start calling my son names, the conversation's over. All right, so you never asked for any compensation, ma'am? In the letter, I did. Okay. And I said, and, and Nick didn't even stick around. He ran off before I even got out there. And she said, he was probably running off because everybody's heard that your son's a sissy. That was the end of the conversation? When you start calling my son names, the conversation's over. Plaintiff Rhonda Diaz says during her son's 11th birthday party, the defendant's son twisted her son's arm until it broke. So she's suing for the medical bills. Do you have the letter today? Um, I have it in my other thing, but I, I believe Teresa has it. Go ahead. Let me hear from you. Okay. First of all, I am sorry that her son was hurt. I, you know, 100% understand. Nicholas's arm has been broken did in the past. Did you tell her that? Of course I did, that's what I was telling her. I'm sorry that this happened, you know, when mm -hmm. I called her. Mm -hmm. First of all, none of this would have happened if you would have been supervising the Talk children that was on the trampoline. First of all, she's saying it happened at the birthday party. It did not happen at the birthday party. The birthday party took place the day before this happened. She bought her son some boxing gloves for his birthday. He went inside and tells all the children to sit down on the trampoline. Hayden goes inside, grabs the boxing gloves, comes back out, gets onto a trampoline in her yard, asks all the kids if they want to wrestle. My son says yes, he stands up, they start wrestling. The other children on the trampoline proceeded to start jumping. They fall over. He, and you know, Nick never denied his arm was behind his back because they were wrestling, they, he thought they were playing. They fall on top of another child, her son starts to cry. My son freaked out because he's nine years old and the kid was screaming uncontrollably, not knowing his arm was broken. Nick, you know, no parents there, he runs back to the house where he was at to get an adult and tell them what had happened. She never comes to that house and talked to the parents and asked them what happened. She never came over there, asked for my phone number. She took him to the hospital, called the police, and the initial report that she filed 
was a battery charge on my son. Who has that? I have the police report. And you have the letter? I have What did the you letter. do when you received the letter? I called you her. You called her, right. Because I, you know, I was and a little how did, upset. how did that conversation go? In the letter, it states that my son used excessive force I was offended. I was upset because she's making my child to look out like he is just this bully that and attacked her child. Gives, ma'am, you, give the, ma'am, you give the impression that uh, he did it in, on purpose or that it was malicious. You say, I don't believe that an arm with such a bad break is just horseplay. What is the opposite of horseplay is intentional. And what evidence do you have that he wanted to intentionally harm your son? Judge Mathis, we had, and this party was a slumber party, so mm-hmm. it did go into the next day, and he did have other children over. Now, they were in the backyard. Hold on, you did say you advised that she believes this accident, this incident was an accident and did not wish to press charges. You did tell the police that. But you also right. found, Nick. you also... I don't want Nick... Uh, I don't want to hang the kid from the rafters. But you did file a battery complaint, so this is I did that so it could be known what happened. So you have something to read, Judge Mathis. (laughs) (laughs) Believe me, I have plenty to read. (laughs) No, his, his father thought it would be a good idea to call the police. It didn't sound like a bad idea to me. Where were you when it occurred? I was in the house. And how many kids were on the trampoline? Five. Either of you want your sons to testify? No? All right. And your counterclaim for emotional distress, how does she owe you? I arrived at the incident as the police officer was leaving and he flagged me down and was like, look, I don't want you know you not to know what's going on. That's when he told me that Nick had no, no idea. Like he was scared to death from that moment on that he was in trouble and that he had done something, you know, that was going to affect him in the long run, you know, and he's been scared from day one. <laughs> oh, man, come <laughs> he, on. I mean, he, was, he didn't sit up there and say, I think this is going to hurt my admission to no, college. No, no, what I'm saying is Or not, I think <laughs> when I apply for the bar exam, that it's going to hurt my no. ability to get accepted by the character and fitness committee. No, I'm just saying. Is that the he, long he, he run you're talking about? No, he thought he was in trouble. He thought he might get 20 years? No. <laughs> <laughs> thought he might get a spanking from mom. Well, yeah. All right. or more. That's not something that is extreme uh, distress. You spank him all the time. <laughs> On that note, does he have a history of fighting with other kids? Oh, absolutely not. Do you know of him having had any uh, fights with other kids? He obviously knew your son. I've never met him before. And actually, I will say this. Nick was a nice kid. I talked to him the night before. But it happened, Judge. Hayden's been through the emotional. He's been through the physical. Why do I have to do the financial part too? I understand, ma'am. I understand. He didn't sit up there and say, I think this is going to hurt my admission to no, college. No, no, what I'm saying is Or I not. think <laughs> when I apply for the bar exam, that it's going to hurt my no. ability to get accepted by the character and fitness committee. No, I'm just That's saying That's the he, long he, he run you're talking about? No, he thought he was in trouble. He thought he might get 20 years? No. <laughs> Plaintiff Rhonda Diaz says during her son's 11th birthday party, the defendant's son twisted her son's arm until it broke. So she's suing for the medical bills. Someone would have to be negligent. Someone, if she knew that her son had a history of violence and took him over there and didn't tell you, then that she would be negligent. But she did nothing wrong. Why don't you tell me what she did wrong? Judge, when you go to somebody's house, so I went to, say I come to your house, Judge, mm-hmm. and I, I break your fine china. Mm-hmm. I would offer to pay for that or I would replace it. You, and you if would not, be negligent. I'd be here. And you would be negligent. Well. But she didn't come over there and do it. But it's her, it's her baby. She's not automatically a responsible if, the, if it was an accident. I'm not giving either one of you a judgment. I apologize. I'm sorry that happened. But she did nothing wrong. She was not negligent. By your own admission, it was an accident. Both <laughs> the claims are dismissed. I'm sorry about that. Sorry that happened. 
I'm sorry for him getting his arm broken. And Nick? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, I accidentally broke your arm. It's fine. I accept your apology. I think this could have been handled in a totally different way, but I'm happy that it came out the way it did. It's a shame that we have to have all these financial burdens.